bits and pieces here and there. Uh, we're already seeing it. You don't see any coral today specials from me. You don't see no. where I have masses, massive amounts of coral. Um, so uh, when we do get material, and there was less than 200 of these made, guys. Less than 200. Okay, we have only, we have fewer than 100 now right. available. So, you know, if you, if you want something that's uh, very different, more on the big, bold side, has more bulk to it, this is probably one of the bigger, bulkier uh, coral designs that I've ever been able to do. Um, and we wanted to do, we, we got big material. Normally when we get the material, we don't really get any mass to it. You know, and the things that we're getting These now are, are even getting smaller. So, you know, to be able to cut anything, you have to, if, we, if you're gonna cut a bead or if you're gonna cut a cab, whatever, whatever you're gonna cut, whatever size, the material has to be bigger than that, right? So uh, when we got this and we, and we had this, you know, the, the, these bigger sizes, we, we wanted to do something a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder. Uh, like I said, this is brand new. You get to see it for the very first time. There's not a lot of these. And the, uh, obviously everybody, this everybody's is clicking, on, yeah. clicking on the fact that there's not a lot of these, okay? So if you get, we can see how many people are online and how many people are buying this. And if I, I can tell you right now, you, you, if you want last. it, you might wanna. You know, it's not even gonna make it 30 Yeah, you seconds. might wanna roll on this one, okay? If you're, if you're there, we are counting you in, right. guys. And, and here again, uh, if you look Thank at this you. design, Look at the size of it. You know, look how big and bold this is. Bye-bye, coral necklace. Congratulations Bye -bye. on getting that. <laughs> I'm glad you one. love it. Speaking of a good one, here it comes. Our very best buy of the day, our today's special from Jake. Okay, we've got a Mother's Day edition Mind Finds for you this morning. It is a today's special from Jay that... It, when it's gone, is never coming back, and we'll explain. So it's Tyrone Turquoise, which is a U.S.-based mine. It's the only big active one from Jay's many years of experience, right, in the States? No, no, there, what, there's only... What were you saying? There's only one... There's Okay, uh, when I first started in the business in the 70s, right, number one, my hair was a lot darker. In fact, it was jet black, and it was a lot longer I than it is now. I would love to see some photos of that, my uh, friend. Yeah, I mean, um, I look at it now. I, I thought it looked so cool, but now I, I go... Mm, okay. <laughs> I was kind of a cosmic cowboy. I had really, really long hair. But that being said, Groovy. back then in the 70s, uh, when I first got into this business, turquoise has always been my first love. It's what I grew up with. I grew up in the, in the Southwest. I grew up in the Four Corners region of New Mexico. Um, you know, turquoise was the in thing. I mean, you know, um, it's just like cowboy boots. Uh, cowboy boots weren't a fashion thing for us. We didn't know, really know that, that that's what you wore, you know, <laughs> type thing. So you, I grew up with turquoise. It's always been my first love. It probably, it's, it will continue to be my, my love. I go all over the world uh, trying to, to seek it out. Um, what makes this so unique and so different if you think about this in the 70s, I bought, I counted them up one time. I can't remember if it was 27 or 26 different mines. I went through the maps. A lot of them aren't even listed on the on the turquoise maps. So you know you buy those maps, they have turquoise. A lot of the, uh, the turquoise I bought back in the 70s, a lot of those mines weren't even listed that, you know, but they were commercially active to where they were actually mining. That's what they did for a living. Okay. Okay, they went, when I say commercially active, that's how they're making a living. They're actually digging that turquoise and that's, that's what they do. Um, of those mines, this wasn't one of the mines I was buying from in the 70s. This, is a, um, th this wasn't even available to me. Th there's just one, the Mineral Park Deposit in Kingman, Arizona, is the only turquoise mine that is actively being, being mined that I know of. This is pictures, and these are probably the very first pictures ever anybody has gotten to actually see of this deposit. And you can see this, this is mining that's not for the fate of heart, right? Right. This is hard rock mining. If you think about this, they do this all with simple hand tools. Okay, this is done with like a, this is done with a gas jackhammer where they go in. That's how they get it. They do it, um, pick, like rock picks, chisels. That's how they get the material out. Look at this, isn't that amazing? Mm. See that, how beautiful that is? Look at the rough. Now, it all doesn't come out like that in great big huge chunks. Most of this comes out in small plates. Um, what makes this so 
so crazy is this. Okay, it's an American turquoise. It's Tyrone turquoise. The, our, the, our friend, the miner, is an engineer by trade. That's what he does for a living. This is just something he does on the side. When I designed this, I designed this particular necklace as part of our gallery collection. Our gallery edition, our gallery collections are this. There are limited editions. When I first started out, uh, I did a lot of one of a kinds. That's who I sold to. We built one. We went out. That's and the, the, we went around. We sold to um, high-end galleries. We did a lot of trade shows where people uh, that just wanted to buy one of a kinds. Um, that's kind of where I started. That's you know, and, and you're getting the same feel here. I designed this when I designed this. I showed it to the buyer, um, thinking, okay, this is a gallery edition. Maybe we can do a hundred. Yeah. Maybe we can do 200, something like that. They're very, very limited. And then we do the matching pieces. She absolutely went crazy over this, fell in love with it. I can see it. Absolutely fell in love with it. And she goes, we want to do this as a Today Special. At that time, I said, no way. I mean, we, number one, the, the rough, okay, if you think about this, to be able to do this as a Today Special in the quantities that we were finally able to do, we used seven years, seven years of production. So seven years of gathering this particular rough. Seven years. And seven years. Two thousand and eleven. Yes. Two thousand eleven. What were you seven doing? Seven years. Then? Uh, probably even going back to two thousand ten. Collecting this, getting this in. You don't get tonnage of this. You might get. 20 pounds, you get 50 pounds, you know, you get 100 pounds, you get five pounds, and you just buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Before, when you've seen Tyrone turquoise, what have you seen? You've seen small cabs yeah. contained in like a ring. And they've been right? sweet and pretty. Yeah, or you, maybe we did a pair of earrings, or maybe we used it for a little bit of inlay. But you know, we're, I'm talking about, I take my stash and then I'm gonna incorporate it in because what we wanna do is show you all the different varieties of turquoise that we can do. That's what we specialize in. We specialize in turquoise. It's, it's the cornerstone of my business. Um, having unique turquoises, having different turquoises from not only America, but all over the world. Um, there's only, you know, there's, uh, like if you see old, like old number eight, right, uh, from us, we're maybe somebody in the family had some of it put back. They're right. not actively mining it. They still are mining this, but it's not, it's not where it's a full-time uh, operational turquoise mine. Um, he goes out, he's an engineer. Uh, this is his hobby, it's his side business. Yeah. He does it out of love, it's a passion. And that's why he mines it. So we just collect it as he gets it out. We're offered it and we buy it up and literally took seven, this, this is seven years of rough stored that we, I, I have right now, I probably have less than, 20 pounds or less of the rough material after we did this project. If you look not only at the rarity of this turquoise and an American turquoise, an American turquoise, and when I say that, let me tell you something. Anything from America, any turquoises, that's why the Mineral Park Mine, uh, you've seen me at the Mineral Park Mine. You see me take pictures. We're great friends. I met my wife in the Kingman Turquoise Mine. That's that's how I met my my wife. That yeah, I met her in a turquoise mine. Of all the crazy places that you would meet your wife, right? Well, or not so crazy for you, Jay. But it, yeah, really, I guess not crazy for me. But if you think about this, and I want to impress on this on, on American turquoises right now, they are highly sought after. That's why. Um, I can't even buy the, the Kingman mine anymore. And here again, we're friends. Uh, they have people standing in line to buy it, but the prices that they have to charge, to, you know, because it's so expensive to get it out of the ground, the, the prices, the costs, um, I, can't, I can't buy it and give you the value that I want to give you. It's not that I don't want to do it, I just really can't afford to do it and really give you the value that I know that you've come to expect from us. Of course. So this, just so you know, this is a very small, it's not, I don't really call it, it's like hobby mining, okay? Mm -hmm. This is extremely, extremely, extremely rare and limited.
Honest to goodness, took seven years, seven years of production to be able to have enough so that we could actually do something like this on the scale that we did it on. I used up all my material. This was kind of like, in a way, not something I planned on, not something that I would normally ever do, right? It's definitely not the way you operate. It's not how I operate. I try, right. to, I try to always have the varieties. There are certain things, I could just give you a whole list of turquoises, plus other different things that I've done over the course of 23 years just on this show that are no longer even available. Okay, they're, they're not even available. You can't even get them anymore. Um, this, can I get more of this, the minor? Uh, absolutely, but here again, it's five pounds. It's 10 pounds. It's gonna be another it's 20, seven years. It's 20 pounds. You know, you're, to see something on this scale, and this is a gallery edition. Um, normally, I mean, even at the low, lowest retail on this, I'll, I'll just be honest with you, we, we, take, we get three retails. A lot of them, I don't think that they, they realize the rarity or whatever, but um, we normally would probably make about 100 of these, 200 maximum and we would sell them for as much as what they're saying the retail, the lowest That's retail is. I dare you even, if you wouldn't even found this, uh, go out to Santa Fe, go to Taos, go anywhere, even if you, if you could find something that even had this material in it, even any other turquoise, it's maybe not even this color or this quality or this clarity, um, or it has this much character, and see what you would have to pay for it. We got some great calls uh, this early this morning when we first released this. We got a lot of calls from New Mexico, uh, you know, and from Arizona. You're talking about the heartbeat of the turquoise well, industry. People right? who are in the know. Who are in right? the know that see it. Really, you cannot, you can't live in Arizona, you can't live in New Mexico, you can't live in Colorado, Utah, and not kind of be attuned to the turquoise you'll see right because you go out to the stores you see the galleries and you go in and you see what they charge for things like this you're really truly buying yeah. a piece of wearable art think about this all okay hand done there and here again we haven't done anything to this at all there's no treatment on this other to, to change the color no, no. Uh, we, d we have stabilized right it here. so it will stay this color but we have not done anything to change the color this is the natural color we showed you what it looked like in the mine how it came out it this is the the uh, another thing with this mine uh and all turquoise uh deposits are different this has everything from high high blue clear clear blue material all the way, it's just like the Mineral Park Kingman deposit. It goes all the way down the color chart to the greens. What causes that is the amount of copper, the amount of iron, the uh, amount of aluminum, all the, different, all the different elements that go in. There's over, over 20, I think 26 different elements and minerals that go in to comprising turquoise. And that's why you don't find turquoise worldwide. You only find it in very specific things. Uh, you know, the, the majority of the mines that we're buying from now didn't even exist in the 70s. These wow. were all discovered in the 90s. And uh, most, some of them, as, as um, I, I have discoveries now that, that literally they found it three and four years ago. And, and they're now just starting to get material. Here again with the Tyrone, this is an American turquoise. And I want to reiterate the fact how valuable that makes it. There is very little American turquoise out there and um, American turquoise uh, worldwide is highly, highly sought after worldwide. They all want American turquoise. They recognize how they special They recognize how special and unique and rare it is. Well, and when, since they stopped the Sleeping Beauty, I think it really, well, really so spiked on the map for what, American turquoise. What started, turquoise. you know, that really started, um, yeah, the, 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 this crazy price where, um, you know, uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, to be honest with you, in a lot of cases, they're selling the turquoise rough more weight for weight than you would sell, than you would buy gold. Yeah. You know, I mean, Sleeping I know Beauty, you've told me. Uh, Sleeping Beauty is like crazy. Uh, you know, a necklace that maybe I would have, I would have paid five hundred uh, dollars for um, five years ago, uh, selling for twenty grand. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, so the point is, you yeah, can see how American it's turquoise to is American going up in value. Turquoise, yeah. Okay. Here uh, are the chip earrings. Okay, these are we we did when we did this uh, on earrings, things like that. We try to make two, three designs, four designs, so we're not just making one design. Uh, 
we have another design that we released early this morning. I think there's a few of those left. Mm -hmm. You're getting to see this for the very first time. We just launched this. And this is all made from the same, tur um, from the same, same Tyrone, Tyrone turquoise rough. So those are only $59, and yes, five flex payments on everything from Mind Finds and J. King today. If you want to do the suite, the ensemble, I love the way Laura's wearing it, layered with another necklace that we also have coming up. But this is where you realize, okay, that today's special, 3,000 gone. We, it's the smallest today's special from J. King and Mind Finds that I ever remember. So... Grab the necklace if, you, if you're intrigued and if that's calling your name, and then to be able to do these earrings, which are the match in terms of the chip and the same material, of course, same bezel setting. Just a beautiful, almost tassel-style necklace in tur or earrings in turquoise. So it's a wonderful suite. And those are also going fast, Jay. The bracelet already sold out. So we had an adjustable bracelet for you. I wore it for like 30 seconds, and that was the last and of I, it. I just realized Laura changed. Yes, when she did she she's do that? A beautiful black dress. <laughs> she's magic. That is magic. She's she looks magic. great. Okay, look at this with Laura. Okay, look at. Okay, number one, she's got her hair pulled back. But think about this. What's the hardest thing with earrings, right? Or I, as a, as a, I, I call myself a, kind of a redneck rock hound. But if you want to call, I do do designs on the side. That's kind of what I do. But the biggest challenge when you design with earrings is actually having something that can be seen. Right, with, that's not too heavy. That's not too heavy, right? That's the thing. The bigger and bolder you make, then you want you. They also have to be wear friendly, mm -hmm. right? And I, I think that you know this is. But, but this is great. You know, I, sometimes I hate these close-up shops, but in this case, I this I love this. And the reason I'm loving this, it shows the uniqueness of this, right? Do you notice that each one of those, they're all individually hand done. They're all hand cut. They're not perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm, organic. And, uh, well, when you when you see something that's really, really perfect, not that we can't do it, that we, you know, but that this is says about hand craftsmanship, right? There is no two of these that can be identical, right? It's impossible. They're really literally one of a kind. Even the cabochons here, you can see this. That, and, and again, this is old school. The, the lapidaris cuts the cuts the the freeform cabochon. It gives it to the silversmith. All of this silver work that you're seeing here is all done just for that cabochon. Right? It's done just for that particular rough, that particular design. Every one of them is different. They hand them to the silversmith, they build mm -hmm. those bezels are custom built for each of those. Same thing on the necklace, you can see with the necklace. They're all custom built. What would you pay for that? Where, where do you mm. see that, you know, in today's world where they're, they're individually hand-done, handcrafted? Bench jewelers are becoming more and more scarce, more and it's more It's almost rare. become a dying breed. Um, so. The people, a lot of the people that are with me now have been with me for over 20 years. Um, but, uh, you know, I've manufactured everywhere you can manufacture, uh, literally. I don't know any... There's no manufacturing in jewelry that I literally haven't tried or been part of at one time in my career. And I always go back to my roots. You cannot get a better product than hand done. Right. Handcrafted. You can't. You can't you get can't. a better polish. I don't care what you say. Uh, I've been exposed to it all. And the only way to get the finish that we get, to get the quality of work we get, Hands. is by doing it by hand from the rough material. So as we're just jetting through a couple of things, these are the Azure Peak <clears throat> beads in a turquoise 20 inch necklace. Okay, okay Jay, it's $89. And, you know, this is so really crazy because here's the thing, I don't want really people to really, I, I tell, I talk to my buyer about this all the time, mm -hmm. is where I don't want people to think that you could actually do it and sell it for this price. Right. And also with this quality of turquoise rough material. This comes from the, uh, this is Azure Peaks. It comes from uh, the, actually the, the deposits in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. Mm. Um, it's really close to um, the turquoise hill uh, mine, turquoise hill deposit where it's one of the larger uh, copper mines. It's been in operation for about 10 years now. They're, uh, they're getting the infrastructure. It's one of the most massive copper deposits in the world, they believe, and it also has gold. Uh, Ooh, I wanna it. go there. So you've got that copper and gold. And uh, we are getting turquoise now out of the Turquoise Hill deposit. We're gonna be having some of that. This actually comes from that same region, but it's a very, very small deposit. One of the, the first deposits that actually, uh, turquoise that actually came out of that, that part of the world. Oof.
That is graduated absolutely spectacular. Listen, I wanted to also show you the amethyst and aquamarine bead necklace. Now this one's longer. It's 36 inches. There's the sterling silver clasp that we all adore from Jay. Um, it's, it's workable, it's very user friendly. And check out all of that amethyst and yes, aquamarine. That is a gorgeous combination. Love that. Oh my gosh, Jay. That's that's a that that is a J combination <laughs> for sure. Well, I love this, and you got okay. So you've got that beautiful aqua again, mm -hmm. all natural, natural mm -hmm. color, and then you got some of the probably the world's highest grade amethyst on the market right now, and this comes out of Zambia. Ooh, that's um, good. African amethyst is taking the amethyst rough world by storm. Uh, we used to get all of our material out of Brazil, and then later on we uh, migrated to Uruguay. Is where we got it. Um, Africa, the African amethyst market, uh, it really it, in, as far as in the jewelry market and going back in time, it just is really recent, right? Right. It's about 10 years old, uh, eight to 10 years old uh, is when they've really started to uh, g uh, get into the African material, which everybody loves because it's smaller, but the colors are so vibrant rich. and solid. So rich, okay. Butterfly chalcedony, have you ever? <laughs> This is this is mesmerizing, it Jay. Is. You know, in, where would you see something like Nowhere. this? Nowhere. It okay. reminds, I mean, I've got so many things in my head. This reminds me of amber. I've got a little mookite feel going for it. <laughs> Where is this from? This is oh from Africa. Gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at how exotic that is, guys. Is that cool or what? Whoa, how did it get its name? It's, um, you know, you know here's the thing with these names. And, and sometimes we ask them, what is the name? Uh-huh, and they're and, like, the yellow rock. Yellow rock, blue, I, you know. Um, so what we try to do is we try to get a story. In this case, they call it Butterfly Cow City. Uh, if you, uh, they didn't even know, they didn't know the Cow City part. Butterfly is roughly translated in what they call it. But if you look at it, it literally has like little butterflies. It looks like little little butterflies, little butterflies all the way through the natural oh. material. And so that's why, th that was their name. If the miner has a name, I use you their honor name. It. I, I honor that. their name. Totally. Um, if they don't, then what we try to do is we try to, uh, like Seven Peaks. Mm -hmm. To them, it was turquoise. We came up with Seven Peaks because where the deposit is, there's seven <laughs> individual I love peaks. How literal it so could I be. came up with it, Seven Peaks. There you go. Okay. Ruby Fushite. Ruby and Fushite, the sterling silver, of course, the signature precious metal for Jay and Mine Finds. We have earrings, we have rings, we have a pendant, we have a cuff. Holy smokes. This is, maybe you've never even seen anything like this before because it is so unusual. And then Jay put it into particularly special designs. So if you love the exotic, you know, that's the question we've been asking on hsn.com is what is your favorite exotic gemstone? Maybe it's this. I love the way that you've done the disc design there. First of all, a little backstory on this stone. Okay, so fuchsite is the green material, right? So see the red mm -hmm. deposits in there? That is ruby, okay? That's natural ruby. Hence, ruby fuchsite, or ruby in fuchsite. Um, you can see with Laura, this is big and bold, right? This is something that, it's, you know, uh, it's not some little insignificant no. piece, right? This is bold. And the thing with ruby fuchsite to be honest with you, when you get the material, and that's, that's what I, the, the thing, the big challenge with us is you have the material, how is it the best way to design with it? You know, what, how can I get the, the best look for the best yield? How can I really make this pop when it really talks to you? Because when you buy ruby fuchsite, what are you buying it? You're buying it for the ruby in the, in the fuchsite, in the mix, right? So you have to do bigger, bolder type looks, bigger, bolder designs for it to show up. If you, if you cut too small of pieces, you really have to be careful because then you won't have, it's like getting a blueberry muffin, right? Yes, okay. that's right. Okay, you it's want like a, a lot of blueberries in that muffin. Right, you want, okay, when you buy a blueberry muffin, you're a lot happier if you got blueberries exactly. inside. If you open the muffin and it's more muffin than blueberry, oh, then a you're bummer. a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Ruby Fuchsite is just like the blueberry muffin of what I do, okay? So it's not just getting the material, 
um, it's getting the artists, and when we're working with the lapidaries, that they're conscious of that. And when we cut this out and we cob this out, that they ensure that, uh, just like you, like if you were a chef, you're ensuring you, that your your uh, customers are getting blueberries. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're ensuring that you're getting ruby. Wonderful. So we do cut the fuchsite, which in this case, the fuchsite is what they call the host rock. The host rock is what. Um, what, uh, it, you know, that surrounds it, like in turquoise, right? You'll have turquoise, and then you'll have like a, you'll have a host rock that could be, you think, boulder opal. Okay, you have the opal, the boulder uh, part is the uh, the host rock, and, you know, that it's contained in. And that could be magnesite, it could be anything. It could be all kinds of different stones. In this case, and what makes ruby fuchsite so special is the fuchsite portion. The fuchsite's the green, but what the, the cherry on top of the sundae is the natural ruby, and this is a natural ruby. It's real ruby contained inside of that. You could actually even just cut the ruby out and sell the ruby, but it's so beautiful the way it is in, uh, that it's combined that that's what we want to do. But great pains go into sure. cutting this material, opening it up. Everything is, uh, the host rock is all cut, sliced. So if you can imagine, you have a big, a big, big piece of ruby fuchsia like this. They take it, the first thing they do, they take a diamond saw and they saw that into slabs. You've seen slabs, people yeah, on display. Big slices. Right, slices. They, um, and then from that, they'll lay it out. They'll draw a template, whatever design we're gonna do, and they'll put that over and they'll actually design to make sure that that ruby is inclu included in there. So they're actually cutting a picture right? They're cutting that particular picture that they want to give, give you in stone. They cut that out. The lapidaris then saws that out. Then they hand polish it, hand do it. And then what do they do? They give it to the silversmith. The silversmith builds the silver portion around it. In the necklace and pendant, I did this pendant so you can go over this, but uh, if you look at the necklace that Laura's wearing, do you see it's discs? And they're, they're, um, this is very clever. The way that they're uh, they're layered on top of each other, think about the complexity of doing that, the art of doing that. They have to drill those at an angle. So when they cut it, if they just drill too deep, or they don't get it just right when they when they uh, when they do the diamond drill, they won't lay right. Right. So you want them to lay perfectly around the neckline, right? They do. So it takes. It, it's not just having the material. It's actually having the ability to work the material oh, and to really do, see how that that's they stack beautiful. on layer on each other. Yeah. So here's the great thing: you, when you buy, I know it just says pendant, but you actually get that get necklace, necklace too. So it's a necklace and, and pendant, a pendant combined. So you're making one purchase. You're getting one unique, unusual purchase. But think of all the different ways that you can right. accessorize with this. The different ways you can wear this. You can take the. You can take you the pendant off. Yeah, you can take you, that off, put you it can maybe take on the some pendant off. silver. Yeah, and you can just wear the pendant on its own. Mm -hmm. If you've got a collar, you can wear the pendant with the collar and then wear the necklace down. You can wear the necklaces on its own. We've done the same thing with the earrings to go back to this, where you use the same natural material, we use the same natural ruby fuchsite with, uh, material, rough material, and then uh, we've worked for that. Uh, to where they work together. Now, this is one of those things, and I always tell everybody, and I sincerely mean this, believe it or not, um, you know, I'm just like everybody else, right? I have a budget, right? Um, and I'm trying to convince my wife of that we have a budget. I'm out of it, <laughs> totally. I'm not saying a word. So we, we work together. We're, we get along because we're both, both budget breakers sometimes. But I, I always t make a plan you know, that's the one thing I want you to do. Um, but if you love this and you're buying a necklace and pendant, you might want to consider, might want to consider getting at least the earrings because back, sure. I don't know where you can go and get ruby fuchsite to make it match. I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be easy at all. But it is now because we have five flex payments too for you. So five flex payments on everything J King. You can find it all at hsn.com. And then of course, continue shopping with us. We're going to take a really short break. And then when we come back, more gorgeous mind finds from J King. Thanks for being here. Happy Mother's Day. 
Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares is the heart of everything we do. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. So glad you found us here at HSN. Jay King is with us with the gorgeous today special and this showstopper, which is coral and lapis. It's brand new, and please notice that it is already at a wild, wild price. It is a, sort of a summertime treat, right? And five flex payments make it so easy. That being said, Jay, let's dive into the beauty of this necklace. Okay, well, number one, uh, you know, coral, not to bore everybody to tears. No, <laughs> so, it's but, sacred repetition. We're learning every time you, you, you say know, it. You know, and, and uh, it, it, the coral industry, if you if you've shopped with us over the years, you, you know you know the deal, right? It's not like I wake up tomorrow and decide that I'm gonna get in a coral business, all right? It just doesn't happen. You have to be grandfathered into it. Um, there really isn't any real new coral production coming out. Um, your most of, uh, you know, coral is one of the things uh, which, well, it should be, which is controlled under the CITES program. CITES program is where you got 156 nations came together and said all of these items we're going to control. Uh, they're, you know, they're, we don't want, you know, over harvesting. We don't, uh, uh, you know, things that are endangered or what. Nothing that we show you obviously is endangered, right? I mean, everything that we do is absolutely legal. I know where there are coral rough materials available, but they, they have no CITES permits, uh, does no good. You won't, won't touch you, them with a 10-foot pole? Well, I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot no. pole, but to be honest with you, you can't legally. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't move it. Um, coral is getting red, rarer and rarer. This is a very unique, different coral. I've incorporated it with lapis. Um, it's kind of like, almost like a maroon right? type Right, it reminds me of cinnabar it. in a way. It's almost like right. cinnabar yeah. color, yeah. Right. Like, a, like almost like a cinnamon uh, even color on it. It's very unique, very different, very unusual. You're, you're not, what, what we're finding in the, you know, when we first started out, uh, and people who shop with us, it's really funny because, you know, we've been on uh, the show, fortunately, because our viewing audiences, this will be our 23rd year. 23, Congratulations. 23 years, if you think about how amazing that is, 23 years. And because of our viewers, we've been able to continue to do what we, we uh, truly love to do. 
during that time when we first started out, I used to have Coral Today specials. We did every oh, yeah. color of coral under, the, it was Angel like a skin, rainbow of coral. Blues. I mean, it was Blacks, amazing. we had right. black coral, we had gold coral, we had yellow coral, we had uh, angel skin, pinks, reds. Um, we Peppermint were able, stripes, we it were, so yeah, cool. We were able to do today's specials. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a coral today special from me any mm -hmm. time, you yeah. know, lately? And, you know, uh, it's been years. Mark, mark my word, um, and a good indicator is Tucson Gem Show. I take people there or I'll meet people there all the time. They say, I thought you said there's no coral. Well, yeah, what do you see? Somebody has five strands of this, two strands of that. Um, you know, um, here's what you don't see. You don't see any uh, coral rough material for sale. It's all in finished goods, right? And it's so a it's, fortune. Yeah, it's a fortune. It's old material that they've now worked or whatever. You see strands, you might see cabochons. Uh, the prices are crazy. The, the biggest challenge with us on coral is not uh, cutting and making the designs. It's the, the availability of the rough material. We do everything from scratch. We do everything right from the rough material. We don't buy anything already pre-cut, pre-cabbed, whatever. Um, that's what we do. We, we work right from the rough. And the reason we do that, we want to know what we're working with. I want to be up here and be able to tell you this is what it is. And the reason I know that that's what it is, because we're the ones that cut it, right? We, we you know, we, we cut it from the, we're, we're not taking somebody's word that, that that's, you know, that that's what it was. Um, we literally look at the rough. I can assure you that every one of these, I, we bought the rough material. I, I saw the rough. I know exactly what it is. And then we did it in the design. When I did this, I try to, you know, with anything, what I try to do is give you the biggest bang for the buck. Sure. So how do I do that, right? I try to cut away as little as possible, mm -hmm. right? But also, every rough, every design that you see from me is all dictated originally from the rough material. So when we get the rough material in, depending on the size of the material, right there, that limits to, to what we can do with it, right? Or can we just cut cabochons with it? Uh, also price, uh, quality, everything dictates how we're gonna design. So it's not like we just get something and we just say, you know what, we'll just cut this, mm -hmm. right? You, you sit down, you really have to play with it. You have to decide what is the best thing I can do. Also, we want, we want the biggest bang for the buck. So we want the biggest look that we can give you, but we want it to, to really be a value. You'll you never see it. anything for me. Also, not only a value, but we want it to be functional. I, I, you know, there's no sense in making, I, you know, there's all kinds of designs. Do you know that we design, 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 design? That's all we do. We get up in the morning, uh, start of our day, and we design all day, right? That, that's what we do. Um, and a lot of our designs that we do, believe it or not, we did one, we built one, and it goes to, we have a, an outlet that we open four times a year in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and that's where they go to a lot of them because they're absolutely stunning and beautiful, but the thing is they're not functional to build them, right? <laughs> because it would, it would uh, uh, use up so much rough or that it, it would you know, cost so much to be able to do it. So we are always, always trying to give you the biggest bang for the buck, and that's what I love about this. You got this nice, big, chunky look, and then we use uh, the lapis, genuine um, uh, uh, Afghani lapis, uh, the highest you know, quality lapis in the world is the, uh, the material that comes out of the Hindu Kush region of, of, um, of Afghanistan, and that's what we're using to actually Ooh, accent this with. Yeah, this is how we pick, so everybody knows on lapis, I know you've seen this before for people that have tried, but um, this is reiterate this. Now, they don't come in those metal boxes uh, yeah. right that's cherry so, picks that's cherry picks so we, time. We, when you see that particular material that's material that we've already gone through we've already hand selected we've gone through tons and tons and tons and tons of material to be able to actually uh take the best of the best and that's what those metal containers come. cream of the crop cream guys. of the crop big right. time this is brand new it's our showstopper and i have to say 
the, the, to have this strand at $69, that more reminds me of what maybe some earrings would be in this material. Right. So you're getting this entire beautiful piece of labor of love right here in that coral. I wanted to also show you this, this sterling silver extender that's a signature move of Jay and Mine Finds. It's two and three quarters. So when we're showing you the 18 and a half inches right there, add the two and three quarters. So that is now 19, 20, 21 inches. So Laura's wearing it a little bit higher up. I just wanted to let you know that you can and adjust it and everywhere in between. So you can really play with how you want to wear this. And maybe, you know, your neck's a little bit fuller. Maybe it's a little bit more slender. This is going to adjust with you. You know, what I love with this, you're getting a big, bold look, a unique look. And here again, this is a very different color, right? It, um, that's kind of what uh, drew me to it. It's almost like a maroon, like a cinnamon color. Um, you know, you really normally don't see it, um, this, this shade. Um, uh, th this color. We paired it back with the lapis. Originally, I paired this with turquoise, but when we did the beads, mm. um, the, the problem I had with it, uh, the, the lapis is harder, um, mm. and so uh, it's more durable. So we even think about things like that, right? We, we want it to last forever. I mean, we want something that you're going to be able to, that you're not going to wear term. it a couple of times, yeah. and it's going to fall apart no, or going to no. grind or break or whatever. So a lot goes into it. Uh, not only just designing uh, from the rough material, but a lot of thought goes into wearability, uh, making it user-friendly, and also uh, making sure that you get a really super high-grade quality product. I also really glad you did the turquoise because I think it matches better to this color red, the shade, right? <laughs> it's, it's really perfect. Okay, I know we have to wrap the showstopper up, but do stay there. We are aware that you are online as well as calling in. So we have one for you if we're counting you in right now. Now, still to come, this is phosphosiderite and blue lace agate. Very good. Thank you, Derek. Practice it, huh? <laughs> it is a summer price and it is on the five flex payments. Listen, if you love the exotic, this is for you. If you love these lush, beautiful lilac tones, this is for you. It's coming up. I've never seen so much phosphosiderite in a necklace from Jay before. It is sumptuous. Look at that. I love. I like them a little bit longer on the necks there. This takes me back to of how you started with these graduated size necklaces. Well, you know, right? um, yeah, the original thing that, that I started with, of course, was cutting beads. That's how we all started in, in, in my case, college, um, uh, doing lapidary work and, and cutting beads, hand shaping. We were doing a lot of uh, puka shell, yeah. a lot of turquoise necklaces. Um, yeah, the funny thing, um, when I was going to school, the, you're talking over 40 years ago, 40 years ago, um, I found when we were uh, when we were doing something for HSN, uh, I, I actually found some of my original necklaces I oh. used to wear. And funny enough, believe it or not, back in the 70s, I was selling them for more than we're selling them for today. Isn't that crazy? I'm not surprised. It's because it, uh, some, some of the the some of them still had price tags on them from back then. You know, it's old stock that I had, things that I had done, and they were still marked. And I went, wow, I, it's amazing. I forgot how much we used to get for those. Isn't that wild? Like, it is like wild. A time so it's actually gone down. Um, on what we used to charge, and the quality's gone way up. <laughs> See? I love it. That, that's where we're scaling in the right direction. Okay, this is very special. We've been showing it to you on Laura, layering it, for example, with a Today's Special. It's the multi-station 30-inch chain necklace full of gemstones. So it's in lapis. It is in turquoise. Yours for the asking. And we have it on five flex payments. You may have never seen this before. We also have it in aquamarine. So it is a story in blue and of course that's all precious sterling silver and I do love these on their own but I do also love them there's that aquamarine oh my gosh that is that's tremendous look at the, yeah that's, that's, the, that's incredible the aqua quality rough right there Jay that is the aqua rough look at aqua got it in turquoise got it in lapis the key thing here on this the highest grade of all those materials okay it's the highest grade turquoise highest grade lapis mm -hmm highest grade aqua that we have available to us. And then what's so cool about this design, it's kind of like floating here again, goes back to um, handcrafted, each one individually hand done. The only thing that we don't do, okay, is we don't- uh, Do this finding? I, I don't do the guy. finding, I don't do the chain. We okay. had somebody engineer the finding for us that, that you know, because uh, we, we wanted to engineer a finding that actually worked. 
And then, uh, of course, the chain. This is all Italian chain. Um, I don't want to get in the chain business and be a chain manufacturer. So that's a whole, you Stay know. Stay in your lane. Whole different thing. Your lane yeah, of genius. That you want to do. What I love with this, and everybody who's that has actually contacted me that was lucky enough to get in on these, um, they love the versatility right. of it. And, oh my gosh. Um, when, I guarantee you when See? you lock, the biggest thing with anytime you have like anything like this, Here. okay, anytime you have anything like this, Those la the biggest thing is, right. is this finding. They were making the rubber grommets. The problem is when the grommet, um, when you would slide it up and down, uh, eventually that grommet would wear in there so it'd become loose so it wouldn't stay. So here's what we did. Check this out, okay? So you just push this in. You squeeze you it, that give is? it a hug. Squeeze it, it, and then you can push it to whatever length. Now, I guarantee you, that will not move. It does not that move. That is great. You, read the reviews on this, and people, that, that was one of the great things on this. And this finding actually made this whole design um, practical, right, and made it to where we could actually do something like this and guarantee, because there's nothing worse than selling something that's non-functional or it doesn't work or right. it keeps loosening it up or you know you can't keep it in position. I guarantee you, when you lock this in, Ooh, it locks pretty. in and it will stay right there. The versatility, uh, so many people love this for the versatility of it. You can wear it high, you can wear it low. Great layering pieces if you wanna get the different colors in this. And it, it, you saw the roughs on these, these are exotic roughs. They're, and they're not only exotic, they're the highest quality that really, that it's available to us anyway, that I can get in. I go to great lengths to just take top, top quality uh, rough materials, I, I think is why people shop with us and they look, they know how much love and care. Look at the great of lapis mm. here. Now that, that's not dyed, right? You see the little sparkles in there? That's the lazuli part. That's, what they, <laughs> that's why they call it lapis lazuli. That can either come in a, that's really iron pyrite, so it's fool's gold. So it either comes in the gold color or it comes in the silver, uh, like the silver pyrite color, uh, the sparkles. That actually is indicative to a high grade lapis, right? Um, if you've got that in the lapis, it can either be just clear, clear blue, or if it's got the beautiful gold sparkles or silver sparkles, that's what they, when you're out buying lapis, that's what you look for. Okay, they're going fast. This is something that I would love to see you wear layered with back to the Today Special and the turquoise. By the way, the turquoise is most popular, which is what I just did. Just popped it on. And if you want that longer look, here it is to layer with that Today Special. So. Actually, speaking of which, in case you're just tuning in on this wonderful Mother's Day, I want to show you that today's special. Here it is on me, and it is Tyrone turquoise. Look at that. All of the sterling silver bezels have been custom made for each stone. So that is another signature piece of Jay and Mine Finds. This is normally a gallery piece, but we have it as a today's special and one of the most limited quantities we've ever seen in a today's special. A great story there. And it's only today we're gonna to be able to receive it at this price. Also, five flex payments on everything that we're sharing with you uh, uh, from Mind Finds and J. King today. Go check it all out on hsn.com too. Okay, quick presentation on a three pack, three pairs of those most beloved gems in stud earrings. So Jay, I know that this has been a big customer request. The, you know, the, um, this is something mm, that I did um, back in the 70s. Uh, early 80s, um, especially when people, when they started doing multiple piercings. Yep. Okay. Um, because of the viewing audience, I never even thought about this, right? Never even thought about doing these uh, posts. And then uh, also our viewers said, not only do I want the posts, but can you make sets, right? right. Can I have the different colors? Um, this is perfect for if you've got multiple piercings and you want to add a little a little pop of color, or maybe you want to pair up with something. Or, you know what they're perfect for? You're just going out, maybe you're going out for the evening, or maybe going to work, mm -hmm. or you're just going out for the day. And you don't want anything really ostentatious, you just want that little pop of color, right? Perfect. You just want something simple, just something uh, just really quick that you can pop on, just to give you a little, for that outfit, that special thing you're wearing that day, that you just want to just have just a, just a little something, a little subtle pop, this is what we made these for. And these were because 
our customers are you. requesting them. For sure. Rotocrosite, turquoise, and lapis. I know it's just a quick look because we don't have very many of these, but the appraised value came in at 125. It's sterling silver. Um, they're all custom bezel set, just like all of the workmanship that you can expect from Mine Finds, and I'm thrilled that we have any left. It's also nice if you're wearing a big turquoise necklace and you want that to be the main center stage, just to have the accent right up by your face and the earrings. Okay, on we go. We have about 12 minutes left. Patricia, don't hang up because we know you're there. We're gonna just get um, this ring introduced and then we're gonna say hi. Okay, Jay, another, ooh, that's gorgeous. Okay, this, this kind of goes back um, to my roots, I mean, this kind of what I grew up with. This is Seven Peaks Turquoise, I told you. That's one of the mines, um, turquoise mines. I don't have an exclusive, because I, mm -hmm. I, I, if I have an exclusive, I'll tell you. Um, I just don't know anybody else that has the material, okay? And they're driving us crazy because we have a, we have somebody, I've been to the mine, um, I named it Seven Peaks because, believe there's it or not, seven there's seven peaks. individual <laughs> peaks that, in this little valley that surrounds where they, they mine this. Um, it's known for its really high blues, you can see this, it goes high blue, medium blue, light blue. Yep. Here I'll show um, it to you. Hold it's got still. beautiful clarity to it. And we combine this with coral. Okay, so it's, it's a traditional Perfect coral compliment. and turquoise combo. Um, if, you, if, you, you know, if you grew up how I grew up and where I grew up, um, it's not like I thought of this as a great color combination. Right. Ancient peoples, you know, like um, in New Mexico, uh, we have uh, little things called pack rats. And Are they real little rodents? They're little rodents. Okay. They look like a gerbil, yeah, right? right. They're, they're called a pack rat. They collect things. Usually they collect things from you that are shiny or whatever, they're collectors. That's why they call them pack rats. Um, and uh, when I was a kid, um, we would go through these nests and I would find- Little um, pieces of turquoise in well, there? Well, we would, we'd find turquoise, but what we would find, we'd find all kinds of things. But we kept finding these things that looked like bones. Like they were mm. white and they looked like a bone. Yeah. I took it to a friend of mine who um, knew a lot about, you know, about um, uh, you know, uh, relics and artifacts. He said, here, let me show you something. Put it in salt water and leave it for like, for a while. What was and it? guess what, it's coral. Really? Yeah, it's coral. Oh, that's cool. And, but if you look at them, and he showed you where it's actually ancient people, uh, ancient cultures, that, and that proves the tra trade routes from South mm -hmm. America, uh, Gulf of Mexico, the Pacific, there were trade routes by, the, by um, native cultures that actually went up into the desert southwest and traded. And they traded for turquoise. And if you look, if you travel the world and you go, there are cultures where turquoise and coral are available and you'll see it. Um, Tibet. To, Tibet, Nepal. Right. I mean, um, th that's just one of a few, uh, the southwest. Uh, the Native Americans in the Southwest, they combined one of their, their favorite uh, color combinations was the turquoise and coral. So this kind of comes from my roots. I didn't particularly design this. I just like it. It's kind of new. It's different. Seven Peaks uh, turquoise and then that beautiful uh, red coral. So that's, Great color combination. Oh, it's classic. That's that's coming your way. Very, very limited. But I definitely wanted to take a moment to share that with you because it is so brand new. We're we have to say hi to Patricia, okay? We're gonna talk about this necklace. Patricia, we're gonna take your call during this presentation. It is malachite, lapis, and garnet. Talk about a phenomenal, phenomenal combination at a summer price. This is not, we're not showing you, okay, four different necklaces. This is the one necklace, all made one with sterling silver end caps, and it is on five flex payments of $22.98 a month. That's a lush. Talk, you know, they say gem, gem colors, right? Jewel tones, there you have it. Well, and so you got, um, you've got the garnet from Madagascar, beautiful uh, Congolese malachite, top grade um, um, malachite in the entire world, mm -hmm. and then that beautiful lapis lazuli uh, from Afghanistan. So three different individual countries all coming together, the rough materials all in one unique big design. And here again, um, uh, you get four individual strands. What would you just pay for one strand normally, right? right? Of, oh, right, look of at this just close one, up. Right, if you look at this and look oh at the color gosh. combination, it's actually the very first time that, that I can remember that ever in 40 plus years of doing this, 
that I've actually combined all three of these materials into one design. That's a great I've combo. had a couple, I've had them uh, together, I've had malachite and lapis together, I've had, um, I've had garnet and lapis together, uh, I've never had malachite, garnet, and lapis together. Look at the quality of the lapis in here. This isn't like, you know, denim lapis. No, no, this no, no, not no. Like, this isn't like old, you know, a low grade lapis. These are really That's high grade materials, scrunches. high grade Congolese malachite. You can't even get the Congolese malachite. I bought this years and years ago uh, when it was still coming out. Um, you can't, they don't even have, right now, all the, uh, all the mining and everything, when they discovered, oil, well, first it was oil. So everybody left the mines and went to the uh, oil fields. And then somebody discovered gold and then everybody became a gold miner, right? Funny so, how that works. Th yeah. Hey, Patricia, welcome in from Illinois. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us today. I hear you're a huge fan of Jay. Yes, I am. And I just started, I think, last year, and I probably have 15, 16 pieces. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you. And I just seen my favorite that you're showing now is the malachite, and that mm. is my favorite stone. And I've got one of your signature pieces from a few months ago, and I absolutely love it. I can't. And I bought your roto, um, your ruby and fusite. Mm -hmm. Oh, ruby and fusite, cool. Appreciation. That necklace and earrings, and I just love it. So thank you very much, Jay, because your pieces are like nobody else's. Well, thank you. That means a lot. And you know, it's not, not just me. I, you know, I do the. Uh, Thanks, I always tell I do the easy part of this. Um, but um, I'm glad you enjoy it because you know it's it's because of people like you that um, that enjoy our art. It allows us to do what we truly love, and we truly love what we do. And I hope you see it comes through it comes in through, what we do, it? right? And it's not just me. It's the our whole big extended family. I bought your S last month with the turquoise, and oh. it's just beautiful. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. So I'll let you go. You have a nice day. Okay. Thanks, Patricia. Have a wonderful day. Beautiful to have you here. Thank you so much. And she's fairly new to us here at HSN. Yeah, last year, which, which is what, you know, that, I think that that means so much. Of course, you know, people, uh, it's so funny because I get a lot of people, a lot of times they'll send pictures that have been shopping with me for my whole career on HSN. And it's just so funny to see the progression that we've all made together over the years. Uh, but some people could open their own Mind Finds <laughs> retail <laughs> stores, to tell you the truth. I mean, some you people, it's just amazing how many designs taste. that they have. And that's such a huge compliment that you would love what we do that much that you would continue to shop with us. But one thing I will tell you this, and, and we strive to do this, when you, when you tune in to Mind Finds, uh, you're always gonna see something you never saw before, mm -hmm. thought about before, whatever. And that's our whole goal is to constantly keep you engaged where you know that you're not gonna, it's not gonna be the same old, same oh, old, yeah. same old all the time. Even if you're just window shopping and learning from yeah, Jay. Yeah, you don't have to buy. It's wonderful, right. wonderful time to just right. hang out together. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. I know we're wrapping up in this hour. I wanted to make sure I got that out there. This is uh, something that we showed you for just a moment. You loved it. It's the phosphosiderite and blue lace agate combo that's at a specialty price. If you love lilacs, you love that misty chambray blue, oh my gosh, it's all together here in Mother Nature's workmanship. Uh, this is the very first time I've combined both of these uh, natural materials together. Nicely done. And you know what's amazing is that um, Siobhan can say phosphosiderite. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a tongue twister you know, that has you know, me over the It's really, because everybody else that I've ever shown that, they, they really don't, they don't really don't know what, you know, how to pronounce or what to say, but that's, that's very good, letters. phosphosiderite. Phosphosiderite. What, what makes this so unique, and there are phosphosiderites, believe it or not, it's a, it's a material that you can find in the world um, in different places. I've seen it in Africa. Uh, this comes out of Chile, mm. um, and it's the finest of its material that you'll ever see. It has that beautiful uh, lavender um, purple color to it. It's a it's it's a lavender lilac uh, Orchid. color. Orchid. Yeah. But it's natural, okay? Wow. Um, this is the cleanest phosphor siderite I've ever had the pleasure of doing, um, uh, dealing with, uh, we're, we get it every now and then. It comes from the same region where we buy our turquoise, where they mine the turquoise. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the, uh, the people that mine the turquoise actually will have some of the rough. We've combined this for the very first time and uh, there'll be some, well, in the near future, I, just so you know, I was talking to Siobhan, you know, we, uh, we're, we're writing December right now. 
uh, and working on February of next year. Oh, that's exciting. So that's 2019, exciting. that's how far out that we have to work because all of our stuff is all completely hand done from the rough material. This isn't something that we buy and that we can just go down and get more of. Um, one of the things I can't get more of is you can see this is phosphosiderite combined with blue lace agate. Uh, blue lace agate comes out of one location that I know of in the world. It comes out of a little town called Springbuck in uh, South Africa and is where the, the deposit was, the mine. There is no new material coming out that I'm aware of. It hasn't been for a long time. When you see this, this is from um, material that I bought literally over 10 years ago that wow. um, we're getting down. We've been, you know, we, that's what we do. We go to the mine, we buy a lot of times huge amounts. Um, only the higher grades, we don't take any mine run anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but the lace agate, if you want it, uh, it used to be very prevalent. You know, you saw it in a yeah. lot of different designs. We hardly um, see it at all now. You, what you see now uh, that's on the market, the commercial market, is all washed out, doesn't have the lacing in it. And what makes blue lace agate, blue lace agate, is the lacing. See? <laughs> Otherwise, it's blue agate. <laughs> but blue lace agate means it has you see the lace. lace. Right, you have to see the lace. Otherwise, it's not blue lace agate, it's blue agate. What time are you on later today? Um, see, I come back on, what, uh, three hours? Something right? like that. Something like that. Okay, so yeah. how Robin, about, Robin and I are on. Gonna, so, okay, so I time. come on at... I come on at uh, two o'clock. Okay. Two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, I'm hoping to get my mom uh, oh. to call in so we can wish my mother a happy Mother's Day. That okay? sounds nice. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I gotta talk to her this morning. I, did, I didn't wanna wake her up because it's uh, two hours earlier. You're a good out man. There. You're a good son. I'm a good son. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Sarah's coming up. We're gonna continue some power shopping with you today at HSN. Love being with you and um, enjoy. Don't forget about that today's special. Hi, Sarah. Oh, and Curtis Stone. I've spent a lifetime in the kitchen all over the world, whether it's a five-star restaurant or whether it's someone's home. You know, when I started cooking in people's homes, I started thinking to myself, there's got to be an easier way. Professional kitchens are so easy to work in because we've just